now is to move my bed. I know my room looks good. Like, I think it looks good. Definitely with the position where my bed is right now. As you guys know, I'm always switching up my room. Like, it was over there, and then it was over here, like, four times in a year. I feel like there needs to be a change. Like, I really like my room right now, but I want a little bit of a change. So, here's an overview of what I drew last night to see a room plan for my room to see what it would look like. So, I moved all my furniture to where it would, like, look good. And this is, like, the best that I came out with. I never really put my bed over there in a corner of, like, where the windows are. And I feel like it would look cute. But if it doesn't look cute, I'm gonna have to move everything back. We're gonna see how this goes. I don't know how this is gonna go, but it's honestly scary because I don't know if this is gonna look good or if it's gonna look really bad. Here's an overview of my room right now. It's kind of, like, a little bit of a mess. My bed is unmade. I also need to change my sheets. My tree is still here, and I definitely want to take that out. And all these, like, Christmas decorations, I just want them to go away from my room right now. I don't know why, but I just want, like, my normal colors. Like, I don't want Christmas themed anymore down there is a huge mess it's always a mess i don't know what goes on over there but it i just need to fix that and then i mainly just need to wipe down all my desks my shelves my nightstand my dresser whatever it is i just need to wipe down everything Here is the situation I just put myself in. I have absolutely no space. It was so hard to get this beam back through. And I just cried for 30 minutes. Like, it's really bad. I'm sweating to you. I look insane. Jumping on my bean bag, trying to make it flat. So this is what I've been doing. That's what I have to do. I feel like putting this bean bag in my room was such a bad idea because now I have no room in my room. And like, you know how I was saying, oh my God, there's more room in my room. Yeah, no, yeah, there's no, like no room in my room now. I think that this is like the hardest room transformation I've ever done because like rearranging my room is not that hard, but it, this one for some reason is so difficult to do. Like I can't get through this right now. I've been doing this for the past like two hours. I think I started like at 11 and it's like 1.40 now. Anyways, I took down the headboard and I feel like there's more room. It just looks more free over here. I just picked up Starbucks and I also got my nails done and I got my eyelashes done. They look so good. I asked for the wet look lashes look. So if you want that, maybe ask for volume and show a picture because I didn't know she did that and I really wanted like the wet look of like wet lashes type of thing, you know? And they're like more spread out instead of like fluffy. And you guys, I also got my nails done. This is what it looks like. I am obsessed because I had the birthday nails on and like some of the nails were coming off. I don't know if you guys saw in the first clip of the video, but it looked crazy insane. It just didn't look good. So I got my nails done and I'm so happy with how they turned out. I, I asked for light pink and almond shape. <laughs> You guys, 
Oh, I've officially finished decorating the room, rearranging the furniture, and I am so excited to show you guys. Okay, so here is what my bed space looks like right now. Of course, it's a mess. I'm gonna make it, get it all cleaned and everything tonight, but I am obsessed with it. I have like a little space for my incense, all my crystals, and then I put a few posters. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave those posters there or if I should like keep it, just because it's like a little bit plain, but that's what I have up right now, and I got those from like Society6 and Redbubble. I have this like mini digital clock for the wall, and I got it from Amazon. Over here, here I have my rock salt lamp and then I have a couple like jewelry. I got this for Christmas and it's just like a little oil diffuser where you put the diffuser in it and then on top of the flower. And then we have the bean bag right here. We are gonna fix that. Like I think my dad's gonna take that down. And then also right beside my bed I kept this little plant and then I also put this squiggly mirror which is also from Amazon. And yeah I'm obsessed with this like little space. It looks so good during the day. I added my luggage right here because I had no idea where to put it. And then I have this skincare organizer with some jewelry on the top which I got from Amazon and I'm obsessed with this. I got it like in 2020 and I still have it. I had it in my closet and I had no idea I had it still. So I just decided to put it on top of my dresser. Over here I'm still trying to fix this up because I am currently on the move to fix this because it's obviously falling. Like it's way tilted than the other one. So that's gonna be fixed soon. I just kept a little bit of things in like one plant up here. I decided to put my skylight back in here and I am obsessed with the vibe in here. It just looks so much better. This was in my bathroom and I just remembered all of this is supposed to be on this shelf But I got it put down just because I didn't want it falling because it's like getting tilted more every day I have my mini little fridge over there and then this big mirror. Here's my vanity I decided not to put a lot of things on my vanity just because it felt like way too cluttered And then I have like my LED light on the back I don't think I'm gonna be leaving this YouTube plaque here, but that's just gonna stay there for now Oh, yeah, and then over there I have the controllers for my projector which I got that projector from Amazon I'll also have a link down below. I have it on my Amazon store Front, so if you guys want to go check it out, it'll be in the description and then that up there is like the projector to go down I think i'm gonna watch a movie tonight and then just fall asleep to it on this bean bag And i'm really excited because I haven't really been doing that other than just like trying to focus on my work and stuff <laughs> I just recently bought this. It's from Amazon. It's like a tripod. I just want to like unbox it with you guys because I just recently got it. And I've been waiting to like open it with you guys. I actually don't have a tripod for my camera, like my vlog camera. Just like a tripod where I can just like hold it, film and everything. This literally like won't. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh. Is there an easier way to do this? Okay, there's got to be an easy way. I don't get how, why is it so wobbly? I did it. But like now it's just gonna be a lot stable and now I have like more places to put you guys whenever I'm like trying to do a little montage and I have to set it up on like a box or something. This is so much better. I will definitely recommend this on my Amazon storefront, which will be linked down below. You guys can go check out like the YouTube stuff and I linked like where my computer is from or like what computer I use and what camera I use and what cameras I recommend. It's all in my Amazon storefront under YouTube. So I have this link down below. I really recommend it. I love it. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my oatmeal. I've been making this oatmeal like every single morning. It's literally my favorite. First thing you wanna do is add a little bit of oatmeal. And then you're gonna add a little bit of milk, not too much. Then you're gonna add one scoop of peanut butter and then add it in the microwave for about two minutes. currently 8 49 and i literally have the worst cramps ever but we're making oatmeal the last couple things that i do is i add cinnamon and then one scoop of peanut butter and then i'm done i'm also gonna make myself a matcha
This literally looks so gross after mixing it, but I promise you this is like the best thing ever. If you like peanut butter, obviously, then definitely make this. A lot of people I know that literally don't eat peanut butter at all will literally not eat this. So this is not for everybody, obviously, but I am obsessed with peanut butter. Like recently, I've been really obsessed with peanut butter. And... And this is just perfect. Like, I've been doing this after my workout and at night. I got myself a matcha because I haven't been drinking matcha recently. And it helps a lot with your stomach digestion. But if you guys have been watching me for a long time, then you guys know that I have been obsessed with matcha since 2020. Like, I just have never nonstop not liked it. So I recently found this matcha that you can make at home with just, like, milk. And it's so good. Like, it doesn't taste exactly like matcha that you get, like, at Starbucks. But it's still, like, the same. I also filled up my water because recently I've been drinking a lot of water at night because I take medicine and stuff and I have to like refill those too but this is what I'm doing because I'm hungry and it's currently 8 55 and I have really bad cramps like really really, really bad really cramps bad. so we're just trying to eat this up bro my string just got stuck to my nightstand dislike this one so much more because this one is the one where you have to like actually do this the other one is like the push down one and it's just like so much easier application this one's like this one's actually, actually terrible. terrible anyways i am just removing my makeup now i am having really bad cramps right now i'm pretty sure i talked about this before on my channel but i get really bad cramps to the point where like i feel like throwing up so last night was like the first night of me getting my period i know i know this is like tmi but like i feel like i just need to talk more often about this stuff because you're not alone if you go through the same thing as me but i was literally crying last night i woke up at 4 a.m and i was like so exhausted i fell asleep at like 12 a.m so i only got like two hours of sleep and then i went to the bathroom realized i was on my period and then the cramps they were like hurting a little bit more than usual but i felt like i was good enough to just like go to sleep so then i went and i tried to go to sleep it's a really bad idea because i was literally half asleep the whole time i was trying to fall asleep for two hours and then i finally did something about it at like 6 a.m because i literally couldn't stop moving i was like okay we're gonna take medicine we're gonna do something about this so i usually take this medicine i forgot what it's called but it's really good for like my cramps and when i feel nauseous because i literally feel like throwing up and i had to go to the bathroom and so on so by then it was 6 a.m and then i have no clue what to do by then it was like 6 a.m. and the sun was literally starting to go up. So then I decided to go back to sleep. My stomach started getting a little bit better, but it took like an hour for me to get the medicine going in my stomach and me to stop feeling so nauseous. So I finally went to sleep and then I woke up at like 11 a.m. So today was just kind of like a slow morning. I did my makeup because I felt so gross. My hair was not looking too good, not gonna lie. So I have my hair up right now. Basically throughout the whole day, I just stayed in bed and I was trying to come up with video ideas, just laying down in bed with my heating pad because that literally saves me like i'm not kidding it saves me when it's like extreme as possible like literally last night i was with the heating pad and it was not doing justice like it hurts so badly it felt like it wasn't even working because i couldn't feel the heat like i would turn it on it was at like the max setting which is like not okay because i had it on for like the past hour and then i realized i was like this is not working and then i showed my dad because he, i actually woke him up so then he can give me medicine because i didn't know where the medicine was but then i showed my dad and he was like this is working this is literally so hot like burning like it was burning his skin like it was that hot but for me it was like normal temperature like it was not hot at all let me know if you guys want me to link down my heating pad i think i linked it down below like one time but i'll definitely have that link down below if you guys want to check it out surprisingly my skin has been really good before my period it gets really bad but lately it's just been so clear and nice like that's crazy i look pale right now but i'm so excited for spring summer like so excited because i feel so pale and ugly like i just need a tan even though I live in Florida I feel like I still can't get a tan just yet I have to wait a little bit more 